Hi everyone, in this video I am going to show you how to use for each method with examples. So Java 8 provides a new method that is for each method to iterate the elements. It is defined in iterable and stream interfaces. For example, let me show you the internal implementation of you know iterable interface with for each method so that you will understand. So this is the iterable inbuilt interface and it has a for each method here. So alright. And if we look at the stream interface so for each method is also defined in a stream interface yeah so look at here okay and the iterable interface is you know extended by various collections so the collection classes which extends a iterable interface can use this for each method to loop the you know uh, list or set or map etc so i am going to show you how to use for each method with list set map and stream with examples all right so let us first see how to use for each method with list so let's go ahead and let's create a package here and i'm going to give a name as for each okay all right so let's go ahead and let's create a main method and before that let's create a person class with name and age as attributes private string name private int age and let's quickly create a constructor and let's quickly create a getter setter methods to access these private fields great now what we will do we create a list of person objects list of person list new we are going to our list here and uh, let's go ahead and let's add few persons to person list add new person here i am going to give name as ramesh age as 29 and let's add one more person dot add and i'm going to add a new person here and i'm going to name as tony and the age is 50 all right let's copy this and let's add one more person name it as a tom age 45 let's add one more person and person name is john and age is 55 all right so this is the list of person objects now what we will do we will iterate our list using for each method so what i am going to demonstrate that without using for each method that is prior to java 8 we were it needs to use for each loop right for each loop or a normal for loop to iterate over a list so without lambda or a java 8 or a prior to java 8 we use a for each loop to iterate over a list right for example here how it looks like and here we just print a person object okay person dot get age so this is usually we do prior to java 8 that is by using for each loop okay so let me run this program so here you can see all right now let's use a java 8 for each method with lambda expression to iterate over a list of elements so how to do that let me show you here i am going to use a for each method now so look at here for each method internally uses consumer interface so consumer interface is the function interface it has a accept method okay and here what we'll do 
will pass a argument here because consumer interface has accept method it has a single parameter so that we need to add here also a single parameter person and let's provide a lambda expression syntax here and here just give us this out and let's print a person object person dot get name and this out person dot get age all right so this is how we use for each method to iterate over a list okay pretty simple right now let us see how to use a for each method with stream okay so java 8 provides a stream right so let us see how to use a for each method with stream so here i will provide a list dot i will convert list into stream first and i am going to use for each method here and here i will do sys out and here I, I will just copy this and i'll print here that's it okay so look at here first we convert a list into stream and stream has a for each method so we can use a for each method uh, of stream object to iterate over a stream and let me run this yeah here is the output okay so this is how typically we use for each method with list and stream okay so let me show you how to use for each method with a set okay set of objects so for that quickly let me create a class and let me name it as set for each example and let's here i will create a main method and let me just copy the list of persons and let me convert this into set of persons quickly okay so now we have a set with few persons okay set of persons now what we'll do we'll use a for each loop uh, we use for each method uh, to iterate over a set of persons so how to do that so let me rename this list with set so that you will understand now let's use so before uh, in java 8 we, we, are, we were supposed to use for each loop right so let's go ahead and let's see how to use for each loop to iterate over a set of persons person person here set and here we provide this out person dot get name and here again we provide this out person dot get age all right so let's go and let's run this program and here is the output okay and now we are going to use for each method okay so we are going to use for each method plus lambda expression okay set dot for each and here what we will do we will just pass a single argument here that is person and here we are going to use a lambda expression and inside that we are going to print a person object like this and let's go ahead and let's run this program yeah here we go here is the output it's pretty simple right so this is how we use for each method to iterate over a set of person objects Now let's see how to use a stream with for each so let's first convert set into stream and stream has for each method so we can use for each method like this pretty simple right so this is using stream with for each method great so let's go ahead and let's run this program yeah here is the output so this is how we use for each method to iterate over 
a set of objects and stream a stream of objects okay now we'll see how to use for each method to treat over a map okay so for that let me create a class again here I say for map for each example okay and let's quickly create a main method and here let's create a map uh, here I will give a ID here and we'll provide key as integer value as uh, person object okay and here what I will do create a map with hash map okay great now let's add a few element to the map here let's use a put method and I will add key as one and value as new person and I'm going to give a name to the person Ramesh 29 all right so let's let's add a few more elements to the map here key 2 and here let's add a person and let's name it as uh, Tony and let's give a age as 50 and let's add a one more person use put method and key as 3 value as new person and give name as John and age as 55. Alright, so this is the map with key value pairs. Now let's see how to use for each loop post. So prior to Java 8, we were supposed to use for each for each loop light right? for each loop to iterate over a, a map. So so here you can see how we, we use we use entry and the entry provides key value pair right so choose here key value pair and here we pass the integer and value as person entry and here map dot get the entry set here and now supposed to print a key here entry dot get key and we supposed to print here value entry dot get value value is the person and we are going to print person name here so let's go ahead and let's run this program and let's see the output yeah here we go so look at here we are printing a key and value value is the person name okay so this is how we use uh, you know for each loop to iterate over a map or to uh, entry set okay now let's go ahead and let's use a for each method okay with a lambda expression okay so map provides a for each method and here we need to pass a key value pair, right so let's say key as k and value as v and here what i will do i am going to use a lambda expression syntax here and yeah i am going to print here a key key is k and again value is v dot get name pretty simple right okay let's go ahead and let's run the program yeah here is the output okay so this is how simply we use a for each method to iterate over a map entry set okay this looks good right so this is how we use a for each method with a list set and map i hope you found this video tutorial useful and using for each method is very useful in your java projects because you you supposed to use these collections in your java project and you can use this java 8 provided for each method to iterate over the collections map all right so i hope you found this tutorial useful subscribe to my youtube channel whenever i publish new videos you will get notified thanks for watching i will see you in the next video